Argentina's government has taken a hit in the country's midterm elections. President Cristina Fernandez de Kirchner's party managed to hold on to control of both houses of Congress, but with a reduced majority. Meantime, her opposition is calling the results of Sunday's vote a great success. CCTV's Daniel Swively joins us live from Buenos Aires with more. And Daniel, uh, you've been studying the outcome. What's the political landscape looking like there now? Well, Mike, these were only uh, midterm elections. The presidential elections are still two years away. But there is no doubt that things have changed quite dramatically. I mean, the government is definitely weaker, still in control, but no doubt weaker, while the opposition did extremely well and are in a very confident mood. With voting in Argentina's midterm elections only over a few hours previously, the opposition was in action. Here, the right-wing mayor of Buenos Aires City and staunch government opponent Mauricio Macri declaring his plan to run in the 2015 presidential elections. We're going to be able to do the same at the national level. We've had positive results here, and we'll do the same with public education, with the health service, and fighting crime with a bigger team, recruiting people from all over the country. All the major opposition parties did well. The former government ally, Sergio Massa, perhaps the biggest winner. His party claimed the province of Buenos Aires, a former government stronghold and the most populous and wealthy in the country. The opposition did well, but which opposition? The opposition is very much divided, fragmented, and there are different oppositions. Actually, we we'll say, as you said, the government will not, this will not be a good election, certainly. But nobody is winning. This is a fact. In, in, in different provinces, different forces will be the winners locally. So President Cristina Kirchner, recovering from recent surgery, has two years left in office and must govern with a buoyant opposition and reduced support. Her party lost about four million votes. But it still maintained control of both the upper and lower chambers of Congress, something many have predicted they'd lose. With the votes for these uh, elections still being analysed, it does seem as though the race for the 2015 presidential elections has already begun. Um, it's going to be a lot, it's, it's certainly looking very difficult, it, uh, things are looking very, very tough in Argentina at the moment, but the battle for power looks like it's going to be a long one and very hard fought. Uh, Daniel, you know, this is interesting. This president and her husband before her have actually been in power there for more than a decade. Is the country kind of itching for change, would you say? I think in many ways it is. I think the, uh, they lost something like four million votes uh, in this election. Uh, many people are talking about change here. I think in many ways, 10 years in power, some of the policies are looking a little stale. Uh, many of the uh, key members of the government are being investigated on various charges, including corruption. So I think in that sense, much of the electorate is getting a little bit fed up. The only problem is to try to find a coherent, unifying opposition leader who can gather that uh, opposition behind one voice. Uh, until that happens, it does seem as though there isn't much in the way of an alternative uh, to uh, President Kirchner's party now or perhaps even in two years' time. So we're really, it's a case of watching and waiting to see what happens from now. All right, Daniel Swimler, live for us from Buenos Aires. Thanks so much.